Hey everyone, Evan here. I just got my brand new iPhone 12 Pro Max in the mail. Super excited about it. Um, I do a ton of photo and video work, both professionally and just for fun. And so the camera upgrades alone were a no brainer for me. So without further ado, let's open it up. Woo! First thing I notice is this box is way thinner than previous years. Um, I'm sure that's because there's no power brick in here, which I'm totally fine with. I have way too many USB bricks anyway, so always down for changes that are better for the environment. Apple always does such a nice job with the experience of opening the box. Ooh, there it is, right away. Man, this thing's gorgeous. You can see right here. I went ahead and got the white and silver one this year. Um, usually I go for a new color option if there is one, but I've always loved white phones and I haven't had one in a few years now, so I wanted to go back to it. It just looks really clean. Uh, this glass is gorgeous. You can look right away at the camera lenses. It's got that subtle clear glass behind them. It just looks really sleek. Ooh. Huh, this is new. I don't think previous iPhones have had this. The paper that it comes on has little icons for the various buttons, kind of giving you a quick indication of what's what. Hmm. Wow. Huh. I am so, so glad, like everyone else, that they went back to this sharp edge design versus the round edges. It feels so much more premium, um, and the edges are super shiny and pretty. If you look at the silver on the edges, just so chrome and pretty. Right away, this phone feels heavy. It feels very sturdy. Um, it just feels ultra dense. It feels like a nice, solid machine. And then beyond the phone, a little different this year. Like I said, you only got the cable, which is a USB-C to lightning cable, and no brick, just some stickers and some info, along with a little SIM ejector tool in the box. But very minimal, and that's it in the box. Very minimal box. Several hours later, finally up and going after transferring all my content. Um, just had a few minutes to play with the camera, and right away I can tell the low lights even better. Like I'm going from an 11 Pro Max, which already was a pretty good camera, but the arguably the wide angle lens was pretty hard to use unless it was really bright out. Um, but as you can see here, this guy in my pretty dark room right now, it's working pretty well. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the two and a half instead of the two X lens, 65 millimeter, looks crystal clear. Um, and really good depth of field too. Uh, just looking at this natural depth of field, not even portrait mode, you can see it's pretty incredible what this lens can do. So I'm very excited to play more with this. This thing definitely feels like it's related to, you know, the iPhone 5 and 5S. Um, these flat edges really, really feel nice, uh, feel solid. I actually have my old 5S here to compare it to. Um, and it's pretty similar, obviously way, way bigger, um, but the edges look pretty dang similar here. One big difference is that the, the old ones have this sort of 45 degree angle beveled edge here, as you can see, whereas the new one seems to be just ever so slightly rounded, but otherwise very flat. Um, but yeah, definitely similar cues, even have similar areas for buttons and lines and everything. When comparing to my last year's phone, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, um, it's pretty similar. The size is actually almost identical, um, ever so slightly taller, but with the flat edges it just feels way different. It's way nicer to hold, and actually the screen size is pretty noticeably bigger. I don't know how much you can tell from the video, but in your hand it feels like you have a lot more real estate. I am surprised how different these phones feel though. I feel like this is 
one of the more substantial upgrades year to year uh, that Apple's done in quite a while. I feel like the last few have felt a little stale, but this is pretty incredible. That's all I've got for my unboxing of my iPhone 11 12 Pro Max. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks everyone!